We are going to do a question based on uh, midpoint theorem and that is taken from the chapter quadrilateral. In this question it says that uh, ABCD is a rectangle and PQRS are their midpoints. So before we do this question, once again recall what is a midpoint theorem. The midpoint theorem says that if in a triangle, say if I take triangle ABC and if a line is drawn through the midpoints joining say P being the midpoint of AB and Q being the midpoint of AC. So if we join this line, this PQ is parallel to BC, that is the third side and the length of PQ should be half of BC. That's what the midpoint theorem says. And we are going to use this midpoint theorem to do this question. Now, <clears throat> the question says that ABCD is a rectangle. So let's say if I make a rectangle first, I made a rectangle here and I named it as a ABCD. So I'm naming as ABCD and we have to join the midpoints of these sides. Let's say I took the midpoints, P being the midpoint of ABQ, BC, R being the midpoint of TC and S being the midpoint of AD. Now what we are doing, I'm going to join P with Q, Q with R, R with S and S with P, right? And we need to prove this figure PQRS uh, a rhombus. Now, since we are going to apply midpoint theorem, you should know that midpoint theorem is applicable only in case of a triangle. So for that, either I'll be joining, I can join AC or BD as one of its diagonals. So let's say I've joined BD here and I'm going to apply midpoint theorem in these two triangles one by one. So as to prove this figure, first I'm going to prove this figure PQRS. First we'll prove this figure a parallelogram and in the next part we'll be proving this figure a rhombus. So let's see how we can prove this a uh, parallelogram and we'll first apply midpoint theorem in this triangle as you can see this triangle. So we'll write in triangle ABC, ABD sorry, P being the midpoint of AB and S being the midpoint of AD therefore PQ should be parallel to BD and the length of PQ should be half of BD. So I've already written here that S and P are the midpoints of these sides. So we can apply midpoint theorem and simply say that PS is parallel to BD and PS is equal to half of BD. And that is from midpoint theorem. Now, once we're done, now we will again apply the midpoint theorem, this time on the other triangle, say this one in this triangle, that is in triangle, this is triangle uh, BCD, right? Here, what you can see here, that is R is the midpoint of uh, DC and Q is the midpoint of, Q is the midpoint of BC. Therefore, we can say that this RQ is parallel to BD and the length of RQ will be half of BD. So we'll consider the triangle and then we'll write RQ is parallel to BD and RQ is equal to half of this BD. Now from these two equations as you can clearly see that PS is e parallel to BD and RQ is also parallel to BD. So two lines which are parallel to the same line are parallel to each other. So we can say therefore from, from one and two, from one and two, we can say that PS is parallel to BD. That is two lines which are parallel to the same line are parallel to each other. Moreover, you can say PS is equal to half BD and even RQ is equal to half this is BD, not BQ. This is BD. Now, from these two property, what we can say that from these two equations, we can say that this PS will be equal to PS is equal to BD. As you know that when one pair of opposite sides is equal as well as parallel, it becomes a parallelogram. So therefore, we can say that this figure, say PQRS, here PQRS, PQRS is a 
parallelogram. Now, once we uh, prove this figure a parallelogram, so this is equation three, we have proved this figure a parallelogram. The next part is to prove this figure a rhombus. You should know that uh, in order to prove any parallelogram or rectangle, we prove one of its uh, adjacent sides as equal. So I'm trying to prove here one of its adjacent sides, say SP, I'm going to prove it is equal to, I'm going to prove the length of SP is equal to R cube. And if you prove so, therefore it becomes a rhombus as a parallelogram whose one adjacent sides are equal is a rhombus. So a parallelogram whose one adjacent sides equal is a rhombus. So for that, what we are doing, we are considering these two triangles. Let's say I'm talking about this triangle. When you say this, one triangle is APS and the other triangle, one triangle is this. This is one triangle and the other triangle I'm taking is this, that is STR. Now we will prove this two triangle congruent. Let's say, how can we prove it? We have, uh, we already know that uh, these two angles are equal. As you know, that each angle of a rectangle is 90 degree. Moreover, I can write AS is equal to SD as S is the midpoint of AD. Further, the length of AB and DC are equal and therefore their halves will also be equal. So we need to write down this first. First I'm writing AB is equal to DC. See if I multiply half on both sides, that is half of AB will be equal to half of DC. And I can replace half AB with this AP. As you can see that P is the midpoint. So I'll be writing AP is equal to DR. Once we are done, now we will consider the two triangles which we need to prove congruent. So first I'll uh, write down the triangles in which we have to prove congruent. So the triangle it is one is ASP and the other triangle as this is DRS. That's ASP and DRS. What we can say here that number one, AS is equal to DS. Well, the reason is S is the midpoint of AD. We can also write here the angle that is angle A is equal to angle D. Reason is each 90 degree. They are each 90 degree. And we have already proved here that is AP is equal to DR. So we can write AP is equal to DR and that is proved above. So once we are done, we can simply write these two triangles as congruent. That is triangle A, S, P is congruent to triangle T, R, S. And that is by side angle side. As you know, when the triangles are congruent, we can write their corresponding sides. Here I have chosen this. That is S, P. I am going to write this S, P is equal to SR. So these two sides are equal by CPCT. That is SP is equal to SR. And the reason is CPCT. Now let's say if I mark this equation as say fourth, mark this as say fourth. In the third part, what we have done in the third, we have proved this a parallelogram and we have proved one of its adjacent sides are equal. So therefore, from 3 and 4, we can say, therefore, say from equation third and fourth, we can say that PQRS is a rhombus. PQRS is a rhombus. And the reason that you should write down when a pair of adjacent sides, right? A pair of, you should write down, a pair of adjacent sides of a parallelogram, a pair of adjacent sides of a parallelogram equal is a rhombus, right? So simply say from three and four, it's a rhombus. And the reason is a parallelogram whose adjacent sides equal is a rhombus.